Hola, hola, hola. I've been a little MIA, just going through different trials and tribulations, doing a lot of inner work. But I also got a new little kitten. His name is Pharaoh, and he is so adorable. Just look at him. Look at the camera, baby. I'm not gonna lie, I've been feeling kind of lost in life. I've been questioning a lot of things and just constantly praying for guidance, constantly praying for direction. I'm slowly starting to find my way and I'm realizing I'm not as lost as I think. If anything, I'm just fearful. I'm fearful of taking risks, fearful of making the wrong decision, fearful of wasting my time. I think about shit like ages. I think if I wasn't sure about what I wanted to do, then I would be able to say that I was lost. But I'm not unsure about what I want to do. I just don't know how I'm going to get there. But I'm realizing you don't always know how you're going to get somewhere. You just have to trust that you will. You have to have faith in God, but you also have to take action. Because you know what they say, God helps those who help themselves. And I'm a pretty productive person, so I definitely have taken action, but not full force. There's some type of hesitation or apprehensiveness and I think it's because I have, you know, some self-defeating thoughts and beliefs about myself. I, I guess I subconsciously feel like I can't live up to this vision I have for myself. I'm gonna be honest, a part of me feels like I'm not worthy. Um, so that's something that I have to work through because there's a little voice in my head that says, you don't deserve that. What makes you think you can achieve that? You're not worthy of that. And, um, I'm sure that's tied to some type of childhood wound. And um, yeah, so that's something that I constantly fight against. And I think that probably has something to do with why I'm not where I wanna be or why I have, I guess, hesitation about really going full force and making certain investments is because a part of me feels like um, I don't deserve it and I'm not worthy. Um, so it's definitely a spiritual aspect to getting to where you want to be because you first have to have the confidence in yourself to believe that you are capable. I think being an entrepreneur and taking a non-traditional route of life is pretty scary because everything's all on you. You have to make things happen. It's not all that is cracked up to be. A lot of times people glamorize being an entrepreneur, working for yourself, being your own boss. But a lot of times people forget it takes the cost to be the boss. It takes a lot of responsibilities and you really have to be self-motivated and driven. I think this feeling of being lost is really just a sense of urgency. It's really me just being aware of the fact that I need to take action and that I need to do something. And it shows that I'm not complacent. Me feeling uncomfortable and feeling like, okay, like what do I do next? Like what's my next move? It's actually a good thing because it shows that I'm not complacent. It shows that I have a desire to grow. It shows that I have a desire to expand. And it also shows that I understand Nobody's gonna get me to where I wanna go. I have to take action. I have to put in the work. I've been procrastinating on getting my website. I've been procrastinating on buying a camera and starting my film company. I've been procrastinating on starting my Patreon. I'm not gonna keep waiting for YouTube to monetize my channel. I have to take matters into my own hands. I believe I deserve to be paid for my work. But instead of waiting for somebody else to recognize that, I have to take matters into my own hands. I have to make my own way. Like I said before, a lot of times it's not that we're lost. It's really we're just fearful of the unknown. How are things going to play out? How are things going to work out? What if they don't work out? What if I put all this money and time and energy into this thing and it doesn't go as planned? Unfortunately, you just have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. You have to get comfortable with the unknown. I think if you truly are lost in life and you don't know what you want to do, the first step is to be clear about what you don't want to do. Like me, for example, I'm clear on the fact that I never want to work a nine to five again. Um, not that it's anything wrong with working a nine to five. I'm just speaking for myself. My personality is just not for me, dog. Like it's just not for me. <laughs> 
Thankfully, I haven't worked a nine to five in a little over two years. So the next step for me is to transition into making a living, using my gifts, doing the things that I love. I hope you guys follow me on my journey. If you don't, I wish you well on your journey. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.